Welcome to NetSuite Quick Tips from RSM. Today, we're going to look at setting up landed costs. Landed costs are expenses such as freight and duty fees incurred in purchasing and getting inventory delivered to a warehouse. In NetSuite, we can use the landed cost feature to add these costs to the cost of the inventory to allow better profitability calculations. To track landed costs for your items, first let us enable the feature by going to Setup, Company, in the Setup task, click Enable Features. In the Items and Inventory tab, in the Inventory section, make sure you have Landed Costs enabled. And then click Save. Next is to create Landed Cost Categories, which identifies the expense account that the costs are posted to. Go to Setup. Accounting, Accounting Lists New, and click Cost Category. In the Cost Type, click Landed. In the Name, Field entered the word Freight. And in the Expense Account, entered the General Ledger Account to be used. In this example, we will use 5200, which is for Freight and Delivery Expense. And then click Save. The next step is to ensure that you have track landed costs enabled in the item record. Then you will have to create a landed cost item to track separate costs in a bill. For example, freight is to be paid to a different shipping company. This landed cost item will be used in that bill. Here is a bill that we have created and we used freight landed cost item. Make sure that the landed cost category is populated in this bill. We are now ready to use and link the landed cost to our purchase. This is an example of a purchase order. We are now ready to receive the items with landed cost. This is an example of a purchase order where we have an item where track landed cost is enabled. Click Receive. On an item receipt or vendor bill, go to Landed Cost subtab. This process is known as Landed Cost on Transaction. Another way of applying the Landed Cost is by enabling Landed Cost per line in the transaction. Notice that when I tick the box for Landed Cost per line, the landed cost column is enabled. You can now choose a cost category and enter the amount for the specific line. Landed cost on transaction allocates the landed cost on all items marked to track landed costs, whereas the landed cost per line allocates cost to specific lines. In this video, we are only covering landed cost by transaction option. The allocation can be based on weight, quantity, and value. Below the cost allocation method field, you see all the landed costs that we have created. In each landed cost category field, choose the transaction we created in the previous step. In the source, choose Other Transaction or Other Transaction Exclude Tax. Choosing the latter will consider the amount excluding the tax. And then click Save. Let us now review the General Ledger Impact. Go to Actions, Jail Impact, and in here we can see that the landed cost is now added to the inventory costs. That concludes this video about how to set up landed costs. Thanks for watching and we hope you learned something useful.